Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time, we did a lot of stuff in the last two episodes actually, mostly involving all side things. Um, basically I was trying to craft a bunch of awesome weapons and stuff, but I've made an executive decision and I am going to do everything that I can do side quest wise that doesn't include uh, maxing out the sphere grid. So basically all the super bosses, they can wait. But everything else we can do before we go beat the game. Just because I don't care because we have the spirit grid high enough to beat everything and grab everything. And that includes the celestial weapon. So therefore, off screen, I raced the chocobo bitch again a few more times to do that balloon game. I still didn't do good enough to get the sigil. But I did get this stupid guy to unblock this path again so we can actually check out what's down here. So then one of these things on the wall. Very similar to last episode when we picked up Aaron's celestial weapon. Well, this is somebody else's celestial weapon down here. I was going to show you guys this way earlier in the game. Like when we first did the chocobo races, but it would have just said, you can't do anything here right now. Anyway, guess whose weapon it is? It's Mother Ethan Titus, the Khaled Bulg. If you ask me, it looks a lot more like the Lionheart from Final Fantasy VIII. Not quite as baby blue, but it definitely has a similar design. I'm surprised they didn't just call it that. In fact, I wish they did. Khaled Bulg? What the fuck is that based on? That's a dumb name. What a dumb name, Khaled Bulg. Not that it's a dumb name for a weapon, it's just a dumb name for his celestial final ultimate weapon. Especially for the main protagonist. Anyway, the last thing, uh, the other thing I want to do before we take our chances with Omega Ruins, which is what our today's episode is going to be mostly, is I'm going to stop by the Capture Arena, or whatever you want to call it, the Monster Arena. And off screen I did do a little bit more capturing. I went back to Jojose High Road and I figured out what enemy I'm missing. It was actually just a regular bird, like... One of those regular ass bird enemies. It's just they're rare to run into. It took me like two hours to run into ten of them. God damn, I don't even want to get into it. Um, I also went back to the Cave of Stolen Faith and captured the one enemy I was missing there, which was the Tonberry, actually. Um, I had never run into one. And I believe I also went around Comlands and caught some stuff. I'm not exactly sure what I finished, so let's see. Uh, we finished Shijose High Roads. We get 99 Petrify Grenades. Whoopty frickin' do. Should have did that earlier. Oh well. Um, I'll always mention, ha, 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 ha. what else did we get, sir? We should have at least got the one for the cave as well. Taming all the birds. Okay, so we got the bird one done. We got 99 mega phoenixes. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. I'm not sure what you can cat, what you can customize with mega phoenixes. Maybe auto life or something? I actually haven't looked into everything that's customizable at this point. Um, the cave under the gorge. So we, we did, we did finish the, the cave of stolen faith. 40 silver hourglasses. That's a nice little thing. Don't really need it. I mean, 40 is nice because I don't go overkill because I already have some. But now that I've got only got 40, that just adds to my total. And he created another, I'm assuming, just area monster. Or, I mean, not area monster, but uh, I don't even remember what these are based on. Anyway, cool. We got 99 gambler spirits. Cool, 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 cool. Anything else, sir? Or was that it for today? Looks like that's it for today. So let's see where we are on capturing. Last episode we had Besed, Kilika, Mihen, all done. Mushroom Rock was close. Oh, I did go back to Mushroom Rock and capture the Thunderflon. Mihen High Road, same thing. I was missing a couple because I had to go back to the old road. I think it was the Eperia and the Vuvir. Anyway, I went back and caught those as well. The Jose High Road, I was missing the Simurg. A uh, very rare enemy. You have to walk around in the areas where there's patches of light on the area right next to Jose High Road. That's where you can find them. Very hard. I ran around for at least two hours before I got ten of them. Uh, Thunder Plains, I was already done with, I think. Makalania. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I was done with Makalania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bicanel, that was it. I went back to Bicanel. I caught some more zoos, so I now have ten. I finished the Mushusus and the Sandworm. And Cactuars, I ran into a few more. They're hard to run into, but there's going to be a side quest we're going to do there pretty soon for one of the sigils. And I think we can capture them during that sequence very easily. Get six more of them. Should be easy. Um, Comlands, I walked around here for a bit more. Caught ten of everything except for an ogre. Okay, cool. That's easy. I just need to run into one more ogre. Should be simple. Stolen Faith Cavern. Almost done. I have Valha Valahas. They they were hard to run into. I run you only get one at a time. Same for Tonberries. I only ran into four while I was walking around there. But I got ten of everything else there. Gagazette I didn't go back to yet, so nothing changed. Omega Dungeon we're going to check out today. And uh, other than that, we're good. 
So, like I said, today, big plans. We're going to the Omega Dungeon. And I'm going to do one thing that I didn't plan on doing on any Final Fantasy Let's Play ever again. But I'm going to do it with this one because this area in particular, the encounter rate is absolutely ridiculous. And it's also the hardest area in the game in terms of random monster battles. Even harder than when you go to Sin and go to the end of the game. Screw that. <sighs> I don't want to have to deal with the mo Well, I shouldn't say I, I don't want to have to show you guys all every battle here. What is anyway, this place? this place kicks off with a cutscene, so... 700 years ago, a monk who defied the teachings was sentenced here. Oh, the traitor Omega, yeah? Yeah? Omega's loathing of Yevon has turned him into a fiend. They say he liked it underground, out of the light. So, he's here? Scared. I ain't scared. Not a chance. I ain't never scared. Omega? Ha! Yep, as with all the last few Final Fantasy games, there's a secret super boss called Omega. Spoiler alert, he might be even called Omega Weapon, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Anyway, definitely want to say before you start traversing here, um, I'm going to leave my capture weapons on because this place is annoying enough to not have to come back here and capture things again later. So you might as well do it on your first pass through. Oh, there's a oh, let's let's give Kimari his magical lance. It'll be more useful here than trying to have him capture anything. Um, everybody else, why does she still have the rod of wisdom? How come I haven't given her her new aw awesome astral rod? What was wrong with me? Anyway, the monsters we'll be capturing here will be what I use to. Um, to get some of the items that I can finish customizing the weapons that I'm working on. Um, I'm actually going to make sure I start with Yuna, Riku, and Titus. There's an enemy here that will uh, ambush you a lot. So be ready for that. And here we go. The encounter right here, absolutely ridiculous. Also, you'll notice the map is not uncovered. You have to uncover the map yourself. Alright, first enemies. We got a combination of curls. These are master curls, I believe. And floating death. Floating death is the more annoying enemy because he can cause confuse. Um, yeah, screw this guy. Hell yeah, suck on that. Now, I know I have stone proof, which is useful, but not having, uh, not having confuse proof is going to be an issue. So, as I was saying a minute ago, this place, um, I plan on using, or I mean, what am I trying to say? I plan on cutting out battles. Yeah. So anytime I run into a battle of enemies I've already fought, from here on, from this battle forth, we will be cutting. I know. It's rare. It's rare. I haven't done that in a while for any RPG. But for this place, I feel it necessary because not only are the, is the encounter rate ridiculous, but the fucking battles are going to take me forever because I'm going to make sure that everyone gets a turn. Because this place, I'm going to fucking be raking in the AP while I go through this place. And I'm just, I'm not going to put on no encounters for the simple fact that I want to make sure that I capture everything here without it being too ridiculous. Because there's like a bunch of monsters here, like a no bunch of different movie. ones. And I really want to capture them all, obviously, and I don't want to have to go back here just to capture more later. Like, just for the sake of capturing. That's so annoying. Um, I believe I got everybody a turn. If you didn't notice, these guys are susceptible to instant death. Therefore, Riku is a good so. idea with her iron grip with death strike. I'm actually going to be exploiting a lot of enemies here using their weakness to either Death Strike or Stone Strike. Remember, I made that Stone Strike one for her as well. Look at that AP. 20k for one battle. Well, worth it. Also, let's do Sphere Gritting for a second because I forgot I was so far freaking... Or, Sphere level wise, I did do more capturing, I said. Well, let's go ahead and get Kimari going here. Let's get him this. Double cast will be nice. Gotta get him caught up with Lulu. He's still so far behind Lulu, it's ridiculous. I, I meant to actually kick the episode off with this, but I, for, I got sidetracked by starting in the Calm Lands and grabbing that Khaled Bulg and stuff. I was actually thinking about trying to do the Chocobo Racing before this episode started. I was just going to keep recording Chocobo Racing until I won, and, or until I got the 0-0 time. And I actually did try for about 10 minutes, but I was just... I wasn't frustrated so much as I was just like, fuck this, I don't want to even deal with it right now. Yeah, see how many sphere levels I have for some of these people? It's ridiculous. I don't have any more level 4 key spheres, right? We'll probably get one here while we're here, so this, that's good. Um, Lulu, she's almost done. Almost. Almost there. I want to get her to the end of this because I really want to have Flare. Flare's 
obviously the best spell in the game, if that wasn't obvious. I think we're gonna be just like two levels short. One level short. No, two levels. Two levels short. No, one level short. What am I saying? We're, we still have one left. I, was, I didn't have one left. So Lulu's gonna be one short of learning flare. That'll be fine for... We're gonna get another freaking sphere level in the next battle we do. Every battle here is ridiculous. Um, as for Yuna, I'm gonna put her here. And here she will sit probably until we get some... We need at least two more. Well, we need three total. One for Waka and two for for Yuna here. Because she's gonna go through this level three key sphere here. And I really want to grab, um, what is it, full life over here? She has enough sphere levels to do it, she just doesn't have the level 3, or level 4 key spheres. Everybody else is going to sit tight where they are until, probably till post-game, because I told you I'm not going to go too overboard with the sphere grid. I'm only doing things to, uh, grab some extra abilities. I'm not going to boost my stats more by going around the sphere grid in other people's areas. As you probably saw, that was just a battle with more enemies I already fought. Like I said, cutting out battles is the thing that's going to happen here. Anyway, Lulu, now done with her Spirit Grid. Fantastic. Alright, and I believe Kimari also got a Spirit Level. I'll, I'll, I'll try to hold off on doing this every Spirit Level, but we're already here, right? So let's just... Let's just get her done. Dude, Kimari, move where I want... Dude, Kimari, I'm going to destroy your family if you don't fucking move! Oh, sorry. He was on it. I'm stupid. Don't find me. I'm just an idiot. Alright, so... Yeah, we want to keep Titus in there. I accidentally didn't have him in there at the beginning of that battle. That wasn't very smart of me. Keep on top of your HP. Enemies here can are pretty damn strong. Alright, so these this also has random treasure chests. So pick one, anyone. Hopefully you don't get a random battle. Hey, level 4 keys here. That's nice. And a defending bracer. Oh, well, isn't that pretty sweet? Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to immediately use that sphere grid thing for Waka because We gonna get our hands on some full break homie. Oh wait, hold on. We got to unlock it before we can move genius Level 4 key sphere. Boom sucker. All right time for some full-on breakage. You ready? Okay, don't I have a magic sphere? I think I just passed a magic sphere. I just realized I have You know what I'm gonna do? I have an idea for that as well first of all Let's go to Miss... L oh, she can't even move one. Okay, when Lulu gets a, a sphere level, I'll do it. Auron, though. Now that Waka learned uh, full break, I'm actually going to have Auron go where Waka is. They're going to take turns taking each other's spot. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, hanging out at each other's spot. Go ahead and grab this extra magic for no reason. And we're also going to grab full break. Hell yeah. All right, cool. So we got full break, fantastic, useful. Um, we also got a defending bracer, which is probably a decent bracer. I don't know. Let me go ahead and uh, the, the thing about the treasure chest, I should explain. Let's see. The thing about the treasure chest, I should explain, is that uh, they're random. In the, and they're random in the sense that you don't know which one. Like you have to open them in a certain order. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, also, these are new enemies, Black Element and Spirit. Black Element, I think, is susceptible to death. Yes, they are. Okay, good. We'll get rid of one of those real quick. And, uh, Yuna, you can just go ahead and steal from the Spirit. Go ahead. And to... Oh, shit. He counters with Poison Mist. That's bad. I didn't realize he countered with that. Oh, that was bad. What I wanted to do is provoke him, but Titus didn't get the first strike because we got a fucking ambush. You want some or, of this? Call. We got a preemptive strike. Provoke that guy so he doesn't hit you with a bunch of bullshit. Um, don't take Titus out, obviously. Can... Man, alright, hold on. Um, can we heal some poison with this shit? What was I getting at? Oh, I was going to talk about the treasure chests being random. If you don't open them in the right order, instead of, fi uh, instead of picking up treasure, you'll get a... Uh, Titus is going to defend. You'll get... Um, also, what I'm trying to say, instead of getting a random or getting the treasure from the chest, you'll get a random battle uh, with a specific enemy. It's a specific enemy every time. You'll see. We'll run into the enemy eventually. Uh, my point is, is you'd rather get the treasures than run into those random battles. So what I'll, or yeah. So what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna go back and actually save it. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what I'm doing here. Gotta give everybody a turn before we kill this guy. I'm gonna go save it because we did the right because somehow we picked the right treasures first on that first one. 
I'm gonna go save that I got that right, and then I'm gonna go and find the next little area with treasure chests. I think there's like three or four areas with these treasure chests I'm talking about. So, yeah. If you wanna make sure to get all the good treasures, this is the way I recommend doing it. Um, I was thinking about just making it so I run around here, through here, get the treasures, and then I'll show you guys, or what do you call it? Then I'll freaking, what am I trying to say? Then I will uh, go around here with random battles. Because as it is, we're doing this with random battles. I could put no encounters on, that's what I'm trying to say. I could put no encounters on, and I could go through here and just you know, get, uh, get all the treasures, then save it, and then walk through and get battles. I don't know, I could do that still. I'm still thinking about it. It's a contemplation I can keep thinking about. One good thing around here is we're getting a bunch of return spheres, which I like, just just from fighting battles. Hey, look, one of these guys. Hey, guy, how you doing? How's your mother? Um, I'm going to start off this battle with a little bit of... Actually, what am I going to do to this guy? You know what? I'm going to provoke him. I don't know why. I just I feel like that's probably a good idea. This is an Adamantoise, by the way. An actual new-looking enemy for once in this game. We haven't had a new looking enemy in a while. I'm gonna let Yuna or you know Lulu go ahead and take a take a take a guard. And then I thought I had one MP cost on Arn. Oh I do, but I don't have it on this weapon. That's right. It's because I have him on a different weapon. I was like, one MP cost, man, full break, but never mind. No matter. Oh, that's what we wanted to do. We want to guard from that move, which is a fire ability. Eh, no matter. He's no big deal. I'm not sure how much HP this guy has, but I think Armor Break is going to do just fine. I don't know if he's weak to auto or uh, death or death or stone. I don't know. We'll just, uh, we'll let, uh, what's her face get a turn in a second. Did I already, I think I already had Lulu go, right? Pretty sure. I really don't know. I wasn't paying attention to who got for turns first. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to put Lulu in right now. Lou got a turn. I know Riku didn't get a turn. I'll get Riku in here next. Ow! Alright, Riku. I really think Riku's the only one left that needs a turn. Can you kill him? No. Okay, he's immune to st he's immune to death. That doesn't mean he's immune to to stone, but this I'm not gonna just bother. Rock, is it? We need to capture this asshole, so let's capture him. Uh Aaron, you want would you like to do the honors in capturing this douchebag? Probably has a ton of HP. And I think this enemy is not actually, now that I think about it, I don't think he counts for this area. I don't think he's a Omega Ruins enemy. Because sometimes enemies cross over to different areas on the, the capturing and stuff. And I think that might be one of them. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. All right, let's see if we can get back to the save point. You're seeing how ridiculous encounter rate is though, right? Hey, look, another new enemy. All right, Piro Burrows. They're another bomb enemy. Start this battle off by slowing these fuckers, because they can be very annoying, and if you hit them three times, obviously they blow up. You don't want that to happen. You want to capture them. Alright, so, before we have Waka even bother getting a turn, let's have everybody else get turns. We wanted to slow them so they would do less damage to us. Uh, but the other thing we want to do is we actually want to armor break them, because... They only get three hits to kill them, right? You want to make sure you kill them quickly. And they don't exactly have the weakest of defenses, I don't think. So if you want to hit them in three, kill them in three hits, you got to make sure you do enough damage, right? That means doing some 999 hits. All right, let's get Yuna in here, get her a turn. In fact, I think steel is okay. We can steal and it won't, it won't affect anything. Fire gems are good. All right, Titus. One more hit and that should kill him. Probably just going to keep Arn and... Titus in here. And maybe I'll get Waka. Oh no, I'm gonna keep Arn him because I want him to armor break the next one over. Yeah, see, this is, these are the reasons why I don't want to show every battle here, because look how ridiculous the fighting is. It's so irritating. And I don't want to just put no encounters on because I want to make sure we capture everything here. Oh, uh, let's see. Kamari needs a turn. Let's keep Kamari in here. Kamari, Kamari, Ronso, I need you to get un turn, sir. Un turn. I need to steal from that one. More fire gems. Yeehaw. I thought I slowed them. Jeez, man. Get rid of this fool. Alright. One Puro Bureau's down. Now, armor break that guy. I guess I could have hasted on Arn. I guess I could have. That way Arn would get to do the armor breaks faster. Eh. East no matter. 
long as we kill these bitches in a timely fashion, I'll be a happy camper. I believe Lulu still needs a turn on obviously Waka. Uh, so let's get Lulu in here, get her a turn real quick. Go ahead and let her defend. Titus, finish that one. And then Auron doesn't have a turn yet. Waka, you're the only one left, but I need to get an armor break in here first, sir. So I'm probably just going to use a high potion on Auron for fun. I don't need Auron dying on me. Auron, get a turn already. There you go. Alright. The upside to these guys right here is I can fight them in groups of three only, so you can capture them real fast. Just gotta fight them three in, well, three in one third time, which means four times. And then the fourth time I can just run away. I just run away, run away, run away to save my life. But yeah, you're getting the idea here, right? The encounter rate is so ridiculous, and the monsters are a lot stronger. You gotta be very careful if you're gonna come here at this point in the game and not start working on more sphere grid stuff. But it is a big reason why I'm here: is to fucking get sphere levels, capture monsters, and get the treasures that lie with it. Anyway, I'm gonna save it real quick. Never be too careful by saving here, especially if you're capturing things. Definitely nice to save your progress as you go. This is the only save point here, also, so don't. Don't think you're going to come across a save point near the end of this dungeon, so, yeah. Hey, look, another new enemy. These are called Halmas in this place. But we're going to start this off by provoking that middle guy. Trust me, you want to provoke him. If you don't, he's going to keep hitting you with that damn you ability that will destroy you. Yeah, this is the first place in the game where any, like every enemy needs a strat to really deal with them. All right, got to leave Titus in. Therefore, I'll just let him attack the spirit. He's not going to kill him in one hit or anything. Um, let's now start getting everybody else turns. Lulu, defend. Probably just gonna let Auron do the honors here, unless these guys are weak to... Unless they're weak to auto death, or instant death, whatever. Cause I didn't think Auron was gonna kill him right there. Get that guy. And then we'll get Kimari a turn. Obviously Kimari is the main one I want to get in there every time. I should be having him go in there first every time, but I kind of forgot. I don't need to work on Lulu as bad anymore now that she's done with her own sphere grid. All right, we don't need to keep Titus in here anymore. We can take him out. Waka. Yeah. It is It is preferable to keep the, keep the, the what's it called, alive. The middle guy alive because he was healing me. So that is a preferable strat if you want to keep the middle guy alive. It doesn't hurt. Because he'll keep using white wind on you while he's provoked, which is weird, but true. Alright, so everybody but Riku. Riku needs a turn. Let's see if she can actually do instant kill on this guy. Yep. Alright, cool. Instant kill works. Nice. I will be using instant kill a lot. Obviously. Beautifully done. Alright. We're only like two steps from Riku's save point for the healing. Why not? Alright, let's get deeper into this place, hopefully, maybe, kind of, sort of, I don't know. Is there another path over here? And another new enemy. Wow, we are just getting lucky with the new enemies. Alright, we want to start this battle off, actually, by stealing from this treasure chest. Because, nothing to steal. Well, that's because, my friends, it's not a real treasure chest. It's a mimic, and this is what mimics look like. They're crazy looking, right? They're actually very irritating to deal with. So the best way I've seen to deal with these guys, and I got this strat straight from HC Bailey, is to hit them with a little bit of doom so they can just die eventually. So the ability, or the item that does that is actually Candle of Life. So I highly recommend go ahead and use a Candle of Life on these guys. And yes, that does mean you have to wait five turns, but in those five turns you can get everybody else in your party a turn and then just defend for the rest of the battle pretty much. The little fucking iguana guy, he's no worry. Just take him out right now. In fact, I'll bring that Titus out to deal with him. Post haste. Okay, I accidentally attacked him on accident. Well, that's good. Well then. I thought it wasn't going to default to the fucking whatever. Whatever, whatever. I fucked it all up. Whatever, whatever. I'll kill you, iguana. Alright, let's kill the iguana now. There we go. Caught the Zaurus. Right, get Kimari up in this bitch. And this battle's pretty much going to go as expected. We're just going to defend for the rest of the battle until he's dead. It's going to be simple enough. 
Just gotta make sure everyone gets a turn. Yuna. And I'm here. I think that's everyone, right? Yuna, Titus, Kimari, Lulu. Waka did Waka actually get a turn? I'm not sure if I actually took a turn with Waka, but now he now we're good. Defend. Everyone defend. Just defend, defend, defend until he's dead. No reason to do anything, and he'll do less damage if you just keep defending. I could bring somebody else in instead of Yuna that has more HP, like say, I don't know, our defensive tank named Auron. Probably not a bad idea. And it's probably not a bad idea to just put slow people in, not thinking about it. Put Lu in. Slow people are better, that way so they get less turns. Do this? One more turn for the Mimic and he'll be done for. Mimic, I need you to kill yourself quickly. Hurry. Die faster. Now he's dead. Yay. Oh, and Mimics, you don't have to capture them, by the way, if that wasn't clear. There's another way to get rid of them faster. In fact, if you mug the treasure chest instead of steal from it, they'll die instantly. But the thing about that is, you won't get this decent amount of gil we just got. Over 40,000 gil. Yeah. You wouldn't have got that if you did it by mugging the chest instead of stealing from it. So, recommend it. As I was saying, I don't even know what I was saying. Was I saying something important? Okay, so I gave it a second thought, and I decided to go ahead and put no encounters on. That way we can actually get these treasures without too much hassle. So here's another room with treasures. Let's see if I can open them in the right order this time. Let's try the middle one. Ooh, look, we got the turnover. Okay, let's try the left one. Yeah, level 3 keys for your times 2. Perfect. We opened them in the right order again. Oh, well, mostly. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Well, I thought I was close. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, I was going to cut that battle out, but I decided to just kill that guy and move on. I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to run into plenty of those off screen when I'm doing random battles. And yes, there are still monsters here. I want to show all the monsters here. Don't get me wrong. Um, I should probably go save it, huh? Eh, whatever. I'm not even going to worry about it anymore, I don't think. I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab all the treasures regardless of what happens. I know the treasure, you get better treasures if you grab, if you make sure you open them in the right order. But I think I may have effed that up already by grabbing the wrong treasure there. I don't, I honestly don't know. But anyway, let's just run through here with no encounters and grab all the treasures. Let's just do it. Screw it. Do it, screw it. Do it, screw it. This place is annoying enough. Defending armlet. Okay, how about this one? Friend sphere times two. I like it. And battle. Again, we're just going to dispose of it. I I was also trying to think about it off screen. I was kind of like, well, I'm not going to get the extra gill. But then I was also thinking about like, what the fuck do I need all that extra gill for anyways? I don't need that extra gill for nothing. Like seriously, I don't. The extra gill is for what? F to fucking bribe enemies? To get certain items later? That's yeah. fine. I can fight off screen and get plenty of money. I'm not even tripping off that. I have no problems grinding off screen for money. There's, I have zero issues with that. And I'm sure most of you don't either. So who gives a fuck? Anyway, more treasures. Got some friend spheres. Got some level 3 key spheres from that last one. And I got defending armlet or whatever. So far so good, I think, with treasures. I'm, I'm actually enjoying the treasures I've picked up so far. Okay, anyway, let's just keep exploring this place. There's actually only really one thing I want badly here. There's a glyph here on the wall, by the way. You can touch it. But you can't come in. You can touch it, but you can't come in. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? Oh, apparently there's a dead end there. Okay. Okay, then. Sounds good. Um, did I, I didn't miss any treasures here, did I? East, then west, then north, then west, then west. Then... Okay, we're going the right way. I believe there's only like one or two more rooms of treasure, and one of them is right here. This one is probably the most confusing. Also, if you look just north of here, I think... Eh, it's fine. It might... Oh, wait, no, there it is. There it is. I see it right there. Booyah! Albred... Albred... Albred Primer 26! You know what that means? We got all the Albred Primers in the game. Yep, they were dirty enough to put the last one in the final hard bonus dungeon. And we get the trophy for Master Linguist, because we now have learned the entirety of the Albed language. Oh, a level 4 key sphere. Oh, why, thank you very much. And a phantom ring. Oh, why, thank you very much. And... Damn it, we almost got it. It's alright. I can live without the one that I missed, I'm sure. I'm almost certain of it. You like that? Okay, so... Is that all the treasures here? Let me give myself one last look, because then I'm um, then I'm going to take off the thing, and we're going to run into battles again. 